Another one for the Cold Blade Vortex build guide. This is the build I've been playing for the last week or so, I think, something like that. That I did the last uh, like video on, stuff like that, the project. So this is sort of a revamp of the um, BB build I played last league like with the um, Headhunter and Spy Learnings, all that. So this one's pretty much the Mage Blood version. Yes, it has Mage Blood. Do you need it? Not at all. Mage Blood just makes it so that you can put a little bit more defense on it with having Chaos Res and a little bit easier to get some more crit and stuff like that. Is it needed? No. Headhunter works just as well. Um, just inspired learning by itself works. I did all that last league. If you want to look at those, look at my last league's version of this build. And it works no problem. Mage Blood is a more up version to try it out. So I want to try it out this league. So, Bow, it's pretty much your... um. Global crit chance multi, plus one, spell damage, with the crafted plus two and double damage. It's pretty much a generic uh, bow. Try to get low dex roll if you can, to save more skill points. Uh, pretty much power charge, unleash, increase crit damage, and power, inspiration, and bow BB. My gems are not even leveled up yet. Like I still have a 2020 BB. Inspiration without even having the one reduces mana cost. Not even level 4 empower here. Uh, that's 2120. No Awaken Unleash. No 20, um, alternate quality power charge. So like, there's a lot of upgrades needed on the gear. This that, There's no point in making this. The build already has for 15 million. If I make the upgrades to the build, it'd probably push like 20 million. Blizzard Crown. Uh, pretty much Blade Vortex duration is the best thing to get. Blizzard Crown is more damage. You can't afford Blizzard Crown. Huber Circuit works. Uh, pretty much this one is just taking your plus one power charge and merging it with the um, minus 12 cold res. If you can't afford minus 12, just get minus nine. And then just hope you get a decent outcome. I got lucky on this one. I got one res and open uh, prefix for life. Um, Asperixa, whatever it's called, Wrath. Pretty much um, if you can get a corrupted one for any type of fizz damage converted to something. Um, it pretty much early on gives you level 5 frostbite skill, which you don't really care about because you're just going to run the frostbite on your ring anyway. Because you, oh, this, this one you need to cast yourself and you're not going to want to do that. But this one gives you cold res, it gives you um, fizz damage is extra cold, some chance to freeze. Hex is transferred to all enemies in range if one dies. So overall it's a decent uh, quiver. Ashes, uh, if you don't want to go Ashes, you know, you get like a plus two amulet, then you got to change all your auras around. So Ashes just makes it so you get the um, the free mana reservation. And Charisma, more mana reservation. And it helps with the alternate quality gems for the extra quality of um, to skills. Uh, Sacrificial Guard, pretty much the same as everyone uses. Plus one all vow gems. And then pretty much this one, you're pretty much just going for the Awaken Explode. With the um, increased effect non curse auras, you don't really need to use um, elevated non curse, it's like a one like three percent more, which doesn't really matter too much. I would recommend getting the uh, awaken explode though, because you get the AoE on top of it and you get a higher um, chance to explode, which is really important. And then get like anything you can on here. This one was the one I bought, that's the cheapest I can find for like life and anything else you need. Uh, the rings. So this ring is pretty much, I didn't need any uh, attributes or resistance. I just need a fire res. So that's why this ring right here is just a curse M is with a uh, frostbite on hit, fire res and life. And then crafted non-channeling skills, minus mana costs. Because you run a lot of little mana. It's pretty much a setup. You don't need the non-channeling skills minus seven until you um, get the level four enlightened. You get the um, alternate quality inspiration. So you get the mana cost of your um, BV down really low so you don't need to run the flask anymore because you need to run the, the minus 25 flask because you cost 37 so you don't have enough this is best you get around it and you can replace everything to get a better flask on for more damage and then I just went with the um, unset ring here just for the uh, level up more gems the other uh, ring circle guilt is pretty much just herald of purity buff effect and more damage mage bud is mage bud uh, the boots you can pretty much just use um, regular Tailwind boots until you upgrade to the Tailwind Elusive Onslaught boots. That's what I did. The 10 decks on here actually did help me because once I got the 10 decks on the boots, let me drop the 10 decks on the ring, which did help a lot when saving a lot of currency. 
and then getting Onslaught to uh, Elusive Tail when it's just more movement speed. Uh, gloves, they're pretty much the, um, pretty much this is where all your fizz damage converted to cold comes from is the gloves. You need at least 60% on the gloves. That's all you need. And then the easy way of doing the gloves, the way I did mine, is just buy your suffixes pre-done. Like, just find what suffixes you need. Like, when I bought these, I needed dexterity. And I wanted some chaos res to get, try to get uh, chaos res capped. And then also you just make sure you have the temple mod for the um, cold resistance plus the increased cold damage against chill enemies. It's a huge damage upgrade. Once you have your suffixes, you can just craft your prefixes real easy. Just do suffix cannot be changed, veil chaos orb, until you get the fizz damage converted to cold. It makes it so you don't have to get the excellent um, fizz damage converted to cold on the top. It makes your life a lot easier if you can do that and it saves you a lot of headaches. So. Once I got that, I just crafted life, exalted slam the cold damage, and pretty much just the fizz damage convert to cold is the most important. Gives you the 60% you need. And then the chance to unnerve also. If you don't, if you can't um, veil chaos these to get the 30% uh, guarantee, you can always craft the 25 on there. But if you do that, you need to get the last 5% either through a relic or for 5%, or you have to go for the 35 fizz convert to cold, which is gonna cost a lot more currency. I forgot to do gems too. But, um, so, gems in the helmet, Herald of Ash, Flame Dash, and then Arcanist Branch uh, with Elemental Weakness for your second curse fight up. The Herald of Ash can be in the chest piece or here. Any of the three heralds don't matter where they're at. Just put one wherever. Uh, chest piece, Anonymous Zilatri, Hatred, Enlighten, Herald of Ice, Determination, and Herald of Purity. None of my gems even leveled up yet. That's why I said there's a lot of upgrades this build missing. They easily hit the 20 million, but I wasn't planning on bossing with the build, so that's why I stopped at this point. Uh, cast on Death Portal setup and Molten Shell with cast down uh, damage taken setup for more for a little bit of defense. Uh, gloves are pretty much your uh, Vortex. So it's Bone Chill, Vortex, Unbound Elements, and Arcane Surge. So when you're walking around, you put, your, um, put them on the ground. It does help. Uh, flasks, and pretty much uh, blood immunity, life flask does help a little bit through the life in this build. Uh, pretty much a lot of chaos res, elemental resistance, so I didn't have to really care about getting resistance on my gear. Crit flask with reduced mana, uh, armor flask, and movement speed flask. What I would probably do to change this though, is I would drop the uh, Quicksilver. I would still run Quicksilver, but instead of Cheetah, I would put the reduced mana cost on here and just run the better flasks with the uh, double crit on it for more damage. Because you can don't need all the movement speed, you can drop that for sure, especially if you have Inspired Learning to head on to run. And pretty much armor is really helpful, resistance is good to have. And before I was using the diamond flask, I was using this one for Onslaught before I had the boots. That's so you get Onslaught that way too. And then like you don't need this flask here, Bottle of Faith would work and all that kind of stuff, but I wouldn't care to fix it, so I just went with this. Uh, skill tree, it's pretty straightforward. Power charge stacking builds, you know, Forbidden Power, Fridge Wake, Void Beacon, and Unholy for additional uh, curse setup. And then skill tree is pretty much here. Uh, this light point you do not need at all here. I just had one extra point left over, so I threw it over in this spot. Up here, Life Wheel of Life. Uh, power charge, power charge wheel, your cold wheel to get your um, fizz damage convert to cold, your herald wheel for more damage. Uh, Malicious Fate, you want to get a um, high Templar Dominus so you can get the 3% um, more spell damage per power charge. Pretty much there's a lot of damage into there. But when you get this, make sure you, um, this one's with increased effect of non-damaging elements and AoE. But also make sure when you're doing this is that you check to make sure you don't change any of the like these nodes because you can't flip them. I call this one's flipped right here. Instead of being uh, deep thought, it's got changed to this one. It happened to me last week because I didn't check this. I recommend if you're going to get these, just check it first to make sure you don't screw yourself over because it happened to me last week. It was really annoying. Uh, this side cluster jewel setup. This one is pretty much just force multiplier. Iron Breaker and Master of Fundamentals. Mainly double damage, fizz damage, overwhelm reduction, which doesn't matter. 
more and more damage pretty much and then the um the mediums is pretty much empowered envy with purpose of harbinger purpose of harbinger and heraldy pretty much this is like a big um for your heralds pretty much and then up here i have one uh with spiteful presence the uh, reduced mana cost efficiency of skills to pretty much give me a lot of this helped me with my mana problem to give me also a hatred cost less you can run all your auras and then down here your um not your uh, reduced mana cost wheel your crit wheel a little bit more uh, life and es well, uh, unnatural instinct down here is probably the best slot, slot to put it a lot of life a lot of mana nice resistance enemies um gain 30 life hold on per enemy kill is really good you can't see and then also you have increase um power charge duration more decks more intelligence crystal strike chance overall it's very good overall if you have inspired learnings put it here with plus one power charge other side pretty much cluster jewel again this one is a little bit more expensive this one's blanket snow doriani's lesson and prismatic heart mainly this will give you elemental damage leeches life which is a defense layer and more damage and then you have damage pen if you can take two points up here, more damage always works too. And then the uh, these ones are vast power with towering threat, vast power, towering threat. Pretty much more life, more AOE, and then also gives you the um, increase of area effect per power charge. And then I have one 7% uh, mana reservation up here. You don't need this point. If you can drop this, recommend go for it. I don't have the... Um, the Forbidden Flame and Flesh Jewel combo. That's why this point and this one are empty to get the Bastion of Power, I think it is. The one that gives you the bubble from the Elementalist because that will give you like 20k more EHP. It gives you, lets you run Elemental Reflect maps. It's good overall to get that one if you can. I just didn't have the currency and I was doing this or the last two levels. Crit Wheel, uh, Life, Life Wheel, Mana Reservation Wheel. And then down here, Inspire Learnings. If you... Corrupted Blood, if you can afford it. If you don't want to run Inspire Learnings, you can easily drop the, the, um, that, the, all these points over here and save, spend them somewhere else. I just want to put Inspire Learnings on this build because I was mapping with it. If you're mapping, it's really nice. Is it needed? No. It's just a nice quality of life. That's all it comes down to. Uh, Bandits kill all. Pantheon's the same. Everyone pretty much uses. Brian King with um, Aberrant for Burning Ground because I'm running red. And let me show a quick map. So I'll do a map and I'll do an Elder. Elder I know is not the best. It's just to show the damage. That's all the Elder's from. Uh, yeah. And then I'll, we'll do a um, Crimson Temple map after this. I just want to show the uh, Pinnacle Boss damage. That's all I want to do with this. Like damage not even fully done does very well. And we're already pretty much face changed. So that's the damage there. The chill's really annoying though. There you go. Uh, relic is pretty much just a, um, the best relic I found so far. Freezes you, flicks, spread. My relics are garbage. There's nothing good about them. If you were playing in Sanctum League relics, I would recommend the um, power charge relic is really good. If you get the plus one power charge, if you get power charge damage. Um... I think what else is good like movement speed like cast speed like anything a lot of relics are good it's just find one that you like that works for you it's also relics are really rng so that's you gotta look at too i have not seen a power charge relic yet i've seen frenzy and endurance charge many times but i've not seen a uh, power charge yet But yeah, the damage on this build is high enough to pretty much one-shot everything. If you're going to do big bosses with this build, the build can do them. You just gotta play very, very well. Because you are squishy with this build. Your defense really doesn't exist. It comes down to more perma-freezing bosses and killing things quickly. We should be done with this fight any second. Yep. And he's dead. Definitely a damage. And we 
got the poopy bow. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that's not it. That does something else. So yeah, boss damage is there. Let's do a quick map. But yeah, the maps are real easy with this build. Pretty much just go in, everything blows up, and you die too if you don't watch that. That's probably your biggest weakness for this build, is that explosion right there. Will kill you instantly. The fire one, electric one, all of them do the same. Go and things blow up. Vegas, he wants to build gets going. It just clears so well. It's extremely well mapper. Very good build. I probably play this build next league also. Easy to get gear going. If you can buy if you can buy it, it's probably easier. Map mods, uh, elemental reflect, no leech, uh, leech, and no regen. Are the ones I probably recommend avoiding. You can do uh, no leech and regen. They're just really annoying to do, and not really worth the struggle. And that's pretty much the whole map. Like that's how fast this build goes through the maps, and we're done. Like that's how quick the build is. It's very good. Highly recommend the build for anyone. Uh, there's many versions of this build too. If you don't, if you want to use ashes, if you want to use a plus two, if you want to use um, um, science and go explodey flasks. There's a lot of the things you can do with the build. I think it's very good. I will link the POB description below for this build. Also, I'm gonna link both flasks too. Um, I'll link this. Well, not this one. This one. I'll put this one in the POB if you want to change out to see the crit difference and all that. But it's just up to you. Let me get rid of all this. But yeah, I like the build. It's fine. I'm going to though uh, sell the build off now because I have something else planned for last build of the league. I would have kept this build going, but I want to try one last thing that I need to build a little bit more defense on it, and this build doesn't sadly have a defense on it. So I'm going to change to a build I think will work a little bit better for what I want to plan to do, and it should be able to do some. Um, more interesting things. But hope you liked the video. Like the video, subscribe below, follow on Twitch. Uh, if I missed anything about this build, put in the comments below and try to answer it. But I think I covered everything to the point. But I could easily miss something. But hope you liked the video. Hope you see everyone on the next one. Bye everyone.